On July 13th, 2011, Justin surpassed 11 million followers on Twitter, more than any other user except for Lady Gaga, who has about a half million more. That's an extraordinary number, particularly considering that he wrote his first tweet in March 2009. 11 million is 367 times the population of his hometown of Stratford, Ontario, and about more than three quarters the population of Ontario as a whole. His dominance of the Twitterverse, one survey says that Justin accounts for upwards of 3% of all Twitter traffic worldwide, is just one reflection of his meteoric rise to fame. Plucked from obscurity in his native Canada by Scooter back in 2008, Justin's story is the closest thing to a real-life Cinderella story as you can find. In a little more than a year, he went from singing to a crowd of a few dozen to selling out New York City's Madison Square Garden in 22 minutes. It's an extraordinary tale, one that is part of his enormous and unrivaled appeal. He's just a normal kid, is a familiar refrain from his Legion fans. If it could happen to him, it could happen to me, is another. Justin's fans connect with him on a level that transcends superficial infatuation. Sure, he's undeniably cute and the lad has mad musical skills, but those qualities alone don't account for his level of superstardom. Believers are passionate, devoted, and deeply faithful. They don't just love his music and admire the teen himself. They study both, searching for deeper connection. When I was a teenager... If Twitter had existed, and if Bono were a regular tweeter, he's not. I surely would have tracked his every move like an anthropologist studying gorillas in the mist. I would have been looking for more than just gossip and titillation. Because I admired him as much as I did, and still do, the search would have been for evidence of our common ground, spiritually speaking, and for words of wisdom and direction from a brother in the faith. Many believers, at least to my eye, are doing the very same thing in real time all around the globe. Tell the truth. How many times a day do you check Justin's Twitter feed or Facebook page? Don't be embarrassed. You're not alone. As someone who studies popular culture for a living, focusing particular attention on the busy intersection of culture and faith, when I spot a phenomenon as multifaceted and powerful as Justin and his believers, I tend to think that there's something more going on, something spiritual. With Mr. Bieber, that is absolutely what's happening. Rather than a pop idol who points only to himself, time and again, Justin uses the spectacular platform that superstardom, hard-earned, humbling, and a gift from God, has given him to direct his fans towards something much, much bigger. I feel I have an obligation to plant little seeds with my fans. Justin told Rolling Stone magazine in February 2011. I'm not going to tell them, you need Jesus, but I will say at the end of my show, God loves you. At 17, Justin is still a kid. It's a fact he's well aware of and mentions often. While he has been raised with an abiding Christian faith, something he embraced personally, according to his mother, when he was just five or six years old, he has a lifetime ahead of him to make mistakes, stumble, correct himself, triumph, fail, and everything that's in between, whether he remains in the spotlight or not. He is far from perfect, but so far at least, when he missteps, he apologizes publicly and tries to correct his behavior accordingly. In the Bible, one of the Hebrew words used most often for sin actually means to miss the mark. When Justin misses his mark, he picks himself back up, recalibrates, and tries again. It's a quality that is as admirable as it is rare in anyone, especially a child on the cusp of manhood who lives in the glare of the most unforgiving, unrelenting kind of public scrutiny. Justin has a message beyond what many critics quickly dismiss as puppy love, but it is about love, God's love for everyone, and his fans are listening. Rather than writing off Justin as just another flash in the pan, the latest in a long parade of young pop stars who appear suddenly and spectacularly only to burn out and fade to black. My intention in the pages of this book is to take Justin as seriously as many of his millions of fans do. I hope to peel back the veneer of celebrity, to examine the soul behind the superstar, 
and, moreover, to take a close look at how the perhaps unlikely faith of this teenage uber-celebrity is not only a key to his staggering popularity, but an influence that is shaping the lives and hearts of young people and more than a few of their parents around the world. I believe it. Do you?